So a common scenario is to actually take some data that you've got in an Excel spreadsheet. I want to visualize it. So we could do this with charts. And we go through and have recommended charts and bar charts, but it doesn't really fit the way we want to visualize this data. We really want to overlay it on, on some kind of real world map. So with this approach, what we can actually do is go through and add the Bing Maps Excel content add-in directly into the page. And all I'm going to do is cancel that prompt here. I'm going to go up to my filters. I'm just going to go select data and I'm actually going to just select that range of all that data I've got and click OK. And what you'll see now is that my Bing map has actually gone and added all these points directly into the map to show London, Paris and Berlin here directly inside that visual. And the nice thing about this is I can add additional ones. So say for instance, if I added Perth in Australia and I added that there, and I went into my filter and just adjusted the data point to include that, you'll notice now that on my map I have this Australia node here. And what I can do with the filters is I can say, well, I want to actually just crop out Perth and I want to cross out Seattle here and apply it. And it will zoom the map in just to what's captured. And again, if I did that again and took out Tokyo and applied, my map is now viewing just the data that's coming from here. And it's real time. So for instance, if I come in here and change Paris to 100 here, my blue area will actually get a little bit bigger than the other color there directly in line and refresh in real time. So it's an extremely useful way of representing data just by using a simple Bing map add-in within Excel. Now as well as being able to do that in Excel 2016 on the Windows desktop, I can also do this inside of Excel Online. So if I again go through the store, I'm going to search the, the store for my Bing Maps add-in. And that's just going to add it to the page and I do the same experience. I can go and in this case I'll insert the data automatically here. And I can do exactly the same thing. So I can filter here and we'll cut out Seattle and Tokyo and click apply. And you'll immediately see that I get exactly the same experience as I did in the desktop version of this as you do in the web version. So again, you get a lot of flexibility to have these visualizations exactly what you want. And you can have multiple of these on, on the page too.